Hooked Up. This is Rich here with Hooked Up Fishing. And this is some old footage I had from the Potomac River over the years when I first started kayak fishing. The cool thing about fishing for river smallmouth on the upper Potomac River and Shenandoah River is you can get a lot of quantity and then there's some nice fish mixed in there that have some size. and You'll find that You'll catch a lot of fish for 13, 14, 15 inches and they fight like a three pound bass because the river just keeps them energized with the oxygen in their bloodstream as opposed to like a pond bass. And then when you get into a 17, 18, 19 inch fish, two or three pound smallie, it's like a great fight. And uh, you definitely run into those. Not every trip, but they're out there. This is predominantly the area that I fished uh, on the Potomac and the Shenandoah I fish, there was a lot more areas for access to kayak fishing, but from basically Harper's Ferry down to Point of Rocks, there was a ton of fish there. Um, and there were, you could do short trips, long trips. Most of the time we would go from Brunswick to Point of Rocks and it was a great full day float. And uh, it's a great place to bring kids. These are some of the lures that worked for me. And these baits right here were pretty much all that I needed and it can really simplify my tackle going on the kayak. But some crayfish would work. Those zooms with the chartreuse tipped claws were great. The young, I think, Papa Craw, I love that color. The red with the kind of Motorola green top. PB&J Ned Rigs, uh, those were awesome. I'd like to go to Nico style so they didn't get hung up. I found that was great, a little tail weight. Solid nose tubes, those are awesome. I used to use like a fluke hook on them. They were kind of like a keel weight and they would screw it to the nose. Spinner baits were awesome if they wanted to chase. Same with swim baits. And then in the summer, flukes dead stick, just leave them still. And in the fall, you could clean up on a suspending jerk bait. If you've never been to the Potomac River or Shenandoah, it's very scenic and I think this will give you a good idea of what's in store for you if you do go there and want to make a trip. If you're not local to Northern Virginia or Maryland or West Virginia, it's definitely a, a bucket list trip if you're from another place in the country uh, and you like to fish, you like never been after smallmouth or if you like chasing smallmouth. One word of caution, the uh, rivers can be very dangerous and you got to know the river levels when they're going to fluctuate. So be safe. You'll see in some of my clips I have a PFD on uh, certain times of the year. I suggest having it. Uh, this section of the Potomac doesn't have too many tricky rapids, but on the Shenandoah, there's a lot that can uh, throw you for a loop if you don't know what you're doing first time going through. So, and just the rest of this video shows me fishing the Potomac and I'll give you a good idea of what it looks like. The Shenandoah is a little bit more scenic, I feel. Sometimes the fish in the Potomac are a little bigger, but uh, both great spots to check out. And you get a, it's a must-see if you love to fish and you're a kayaker. Or even if you're not a kayaker, there's places that you can rent 